the obvious thing in first notice is it looks like, you know, a somewhat naive, uh, experienced painter uh, at work, and if so, it's no issue, because they've accomplished quite a bit with this piece. The expression in the figures, the expression particularly in the character of the face of the child, even as Renoir worked so hard to get just a few lines to construct the statement for the eye that simultaneously gave the form, but also gave expression and emotion and psychology all at the same time. And it's in here, and even the character of how she dabbles the paint and squiggles the paint in seems to be perfectly integrated to the idea of what this piece is about. This interaction, this emotional interaction between the mother and child. Um, and it's just uh, it's a wonderful piece. It doesn't have to be anatomically perfect and refined. All right, this piece, uh, Deco Escape Chamber by Selena Rampi, Georgia. Um, it struck me in the, the images uh, on the internet that I saw for the original selection for the show. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's one of those pieces that I'm not quite sure what all these mixed materials are about and how the artist is actually working. Uh, the glass framing doesn't help because it creates a pseudo surface to the actual surface of the piece. Uh, but it is a very compelling design, very compelling imagery. It really catches your eye and holds your attention. And as any good cubist or pseudo-cubist piece should operate, it has all those dynamics of geometrics, lights and dark interplays of shapes, spatial shifts that sometimes are clear, sometimes are confusing, Sometimes they're just plain um, wonderful to see. Uh, this piece, The Memory of Sound by Colleen Pendry of Virginia. It's in caustic and mixed media. Um, and it's kind of in a format and formula of painting technique uh, with materials that is more and more uh, popular everywhere. And um, it's a nice play of abstract design, uh, simplistic design, and yet complexity in terms of the optics within a simple construct, and then the subtleties that happen everywhere throughout the painting in terms of this field of color with all these little nuances. Uh, that sometimes seem controlled and sometimes just happen. Um, but again, it, it has an ability to hold interest, which is another thing you want to know. For third place, um, Still Waters Run Deep, number eight, um, by Kay Lipscomb. Um, and anyone who knows me knows that I've had a long relationship with Kay as a student on and off over the years. So I know her work fairly well. And uh, this piece is a really tricky piece because when you first encounter it, it's sort of, uh, is it bland? I don't know if it's bland or not. Certainly, the other piece that she has in the show immediately shouts off the wall at you. This one is a little tricky. It requires you to, to spend time with it, to look at it, and let your sensibilities of looking at the artwork evolve and complete the communication 
that the object is evoking, it is expressing. Here it's subtleties of color, spatial shifts, the character of rhythm that's involved in the piece. All these things um, require just a kind of oriental zen-like observation of the piece and then they just keep emanating and revealing more and more richness as you look at the piece. Um, and by my standards, that's one of the ideal things of a piece of artwork is that it pulls you in and it grows with you as you grow with it. It's not a one shot, here's the picture and now you've got it all and it's it's I will go against the sign because I'm the judge, and this is a piece of sculpture <laughs> and a piece of woodcraft, and it must be felt uh, and caressed, particularly this type of work with the inlays and the varieties of wood to experience just how refined the maker is in the process of putting this together. It's a wonderful design kind of classical urn shape, um, but just beautifully constructed, wonderful selection of woods, greens, colors, patterns, putting it all together. It's just a very masterful piece altogether. Um, and uh, this was my choice for second place. So okay. my choice. My selection for number one, is Open Window in Alzheimer's Journey. It's an oil painting by Sarah Baldick, North Carolina. And um, as I usually do when I go to museums, I never read tags. I, look, I let the artwork speak for itself first. And the one thing that I found uh, that kept drawing me back to this piece is that there's just an immediacy of honest integrity that oozes right out of the piece. It's in every aspect of it. The design, the marks, the touch, the handling of the paint, the questionable character of the image that you know, we sense some things, but we're not quite sure what they are. Um, but particularly in this day and age, as there are examples in the show, there are so many uh, new media situations, mixed media situations, where to try to judge a show, you have no idea what the artist is doing, um, what materials they're working with. And um, this is just right there where art originates, at the simplest level of expression, drawing, touch of the artist to the, the object itself without, and in this case, I sense, why I say it's integrity, any obvious sensation that the artist is trying to impress anybody with anything, which is another issue of contemporary American art scene that we're so conscious about being artists and competing into. Here we just have art as it should be. The individual compelled to do something and doing it as directly, simply, honestly as they can. And that's art at its best.